on ESG in China. Two more items, Mr. President. First, reports are out that Republicans will reintroduce a measure targeting a new rule from the Department of Labor that allows, repeat, allows, but not requires, fiduciaries to consider the impacts of climate change and other ESG issues when making investment decisions. Across the country, hard right state legislatures are up in arms in trying to stop state investment funds from working with money managers who dare commit the oh so heinous offense at looking at the big picture, looking at the future when making investments, including how climate change and other issues can present financial risks. I just want to point out the obvious. Nothing in this DOL rule imposes any requirement on anyone. It is not a requirement. In fact, it goes out of the way to make sure decision-making remains solely, remains solely in the hand of the fiduciary. Republicans like to talk about small government. They like to talk about letting the private sector do its work. But their obsession with eliminating ESG, their sort of ostrich-like view about climate change and the damage that carbon presents when going into the atmosphere would do just the opposite. Finally, on the China surveillance balloon and what happened over the weekend. After yesterday's briefing, it's clear our defense and intelligence agencies remain laser focused on gathering every piece of information about what happened over US and a Canadian airspace. White House Press Secretary John Kirby said these most recent objects did not pose any direct threat to people on the ground. That's very important. People should not worry about that. Of course, we have much more to learn. Today, we're going to have another all-senators briefing on the state of U.S. defense readiness with respect to China. I'm sure that will include an, a, a discussion of the military, but also of our surveillance abilities. Republicans eager to score political points right at this moment are doing nothing more than engaging in premature attacks. It's precipitous. It's no time for premature partisanship. We need to work together in Congress to get to the bottom of what happened, which Senator Tester is taking the lead on here in the Senate. I thank him and all my colleagues of good faith for working together. I yield the floor.